David Alfred Perdue, Jr., born December 10, 1949, is an American businessman and politician serving as the junior United States Senator from Georgia since 2015. He was elected in 2014 to the seat previously held by Saxby Chambliss, who retired. Perdue won the Republican primary and defeated Democratic nominee Michelle Nunn. He is a first cousin of Sonny Perdue, former Governor of Georgia and current United States Secretary of Agriculture. David Perdue started his business career with more than a decade as a management consultant. In 1992 he became a VP at Sarah Lee Corporation. During the next decade, he worked with Hager Clothing, and Reebok. He was unable to correct problems at Pillowtex, which he joined in 2002, leaving after nine months with a large buyout. Purdue next worked for Dollar General, where he did achieve a turnaround, and later for the Gujarat Heavy Chemicals Limited, whose interests in India included textile mills. Before entering politics, Purdue set up a global trading firm in Atlanta, Georgia. Topic: <laughs> Early life and education. David Perdue was born in Macon, Georgia, the son of David Alfred Perdue Sr., and the former Gervais Wynne, both schoolteachers. He was raised in Warner Robins, Georgia. Perdue has a bachelor's degree in industrial engineering 1972 and a master's degree in operations research 1975, both from Georgia Tech. At Georgia Tech, Perdue was a brother of the Delta Sigma Phi fraternity. He married Bonnie Dunn. The couple now lives in the resort town of Sea Island. The couple have two sons, David A. Perdue III and Blake Perdue, and three grandchildren. David Perdue Jr. is the first cousin of former Georgia Governor and current United States Secretary of Agriculture Sonny Perdue. <laughs> <laughs> Business career Purdue began his career at Kurt Salmon Associates, an international consulting firm, where he worked for 12 years as a management consultant. His first major corporate job was as Senior Vice President of Asia Operations for Sarah Lee Corporation, a position he took in 1992. His time at Sarah Lee was followed by a stint at Hager Clothing, where he became Senior Vice President of Operations in 1994. In 1998, Purdue joined Reebok as a Senior Vice President, eventually rising to President and CEO. Purdue is credited with significantly reducing the company's debt and reviving its sneaker line. Purdue negotiated a contract with the National Football League that a former Reebok executive referred to as revolutionary. For repositioning the company's shoe brand, in 2002, Purdue left Reebok for Pillowtex, a North Carolina textile company. The company had recently emerged from bankruptcy with a heavy debt load and an underfunded pension liability. Purdue was unable to obtain additional funding from the company's investors and later was unsuccessful in finding a buyer for the company. He left the company in 2003 after nine months on the job and $1.7 million in compensation. Pillowtex closed several months later, leaving 7,650 workers out of work nationwide. With more than 4,000 jobs lost statewide, the closing of Pillowtex resulted in the largest single day job loss in North Carolina history at the time. After leaving Pillowtex, Purdue became CEO of Dollar General. Prior to his joining the company, it had recently overstated profits by $100 million and paid $162 million to settle shareholder lawsuits. Purdue overhauled the company's inventory line and logistics network, and updated its marketing strategy. After initially closing hundreds of stores, the company doubled its stock price and opened 2,600 new stores before being sold in 2007 to private equity investors. From 2007 to 2009, Purdue worked as a senior consultant for Indian chemical and textile conglomerate Gujarat Heavy Chemicals Limited. In April 2011, Purdue started an Atlanta-based global trading firm with Trey Childress, Heidi Green, and former Georgia governor, Sonny Purdue. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, Purdue is known on Wall Street as a turnaround specialist who helps revive brands and reap rewards for investors. <laughs> U.S. Senate <laughs> <laughs> Topic: 2014 Senate campaign Purdue touted his business experience, and particularly his experience at Dollar General, in running for political office as a Republican candidate. According to Purdue, 
We added about 2,200 stores, created almost 20,000 jobs and doubled the value of that company in a very short period of time. Not because of me, but because we listened to our customers and employees. He received the endorsement of the National Federation of Independent Business. Purdue's political opponents targeted his business career during the campaign, specifically for outsourcing work offshore. Purdue said he was proud of finding lower cost labor for some companies. Critics noted that he had contributed to a total of thousands of jobs lost following the final closure of Pillotex, while Purdue left the company after nine months with a nearly $2 million buyout. After being elected, Purdue stated that he wanted to bring the perspective of a working person to Washington, D.C. The race was considered to be competitive. Purdue won the general election, defeating the Democratic nominee Michelle Nunn 52.89% to 45.21%. Committee assignments Committee on Agriculture, Nutrition and Forestry Subcommittee on Commodities, Markets, Trade and Risk Management Subcommittee on Conservation, Forestry and Natural Resources Chair. Subcommittee on Jobs, Rural Economic Growth and Energy Innovation Committee on the Budget Committee on Foreign Relations Subcommittee on Near East, South Asia, Central Asia and Counter-Terrorism Subcommittee on Western Hemisphere, Transnational Crime, Civilian Security, Democracy, Human Rights and Global Women's Issues Subcommittee on State Department and USAID Management, International Operations and Bilateral International Development Subcommittee on International Development, Multilateral Institutions and International Economic, Energy and Environmental Policy Special Committee on Aging Topic. Political positions Purdue supports policies to achieve energy independence, as well as revitalizing American manufacturing and increasing exports to create quality jobs and for long-term economic growth. Additionally, he supports actions to strictly enforce laws to secure the border, opposes gun control, is a supporter of the State of Israel, opposes Common Core, and opposes same-sex marriage. In a June 2016 speech to a conference of the Faith and Freedom Coalition, Purdue urged the audience to pray for President Obama's days to be short. Health care He supports repealing and replacing the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. He opposes abortion, except in cases of rape, incest or the life of the mother. Term limits Purdue has pledged to limit himself to two terms in the Senate 12 years. Topic: <inaudible> Security. In October 2015, Purdue voted in favor of the CISA, Cybersecurity Information Sharing Act, despite strong opposition from major companies such as Google, Apple, Facebook, and Twitter. This is consistent with his record of a common defense as he also supported the NDAA National Defense Authorization Act. Topic. Climate change Purdue was one of 22 senators to sign a letter to President Donald Trump urging him to have the United States withdraw from the Paris Agreement. According to the Center for Responsive Politics, Purdue has received over $180,000 from oil, gas and coal interests since 2012. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Immigration. In 2017, Purdue co-sponsored the Raise Act, which would reduce legal immigration by 50% and cap refugee admissions to 50,000 individuals per year. Trump Purdue is a close ally of Trump. Purdue fought to prevent the Senate from blocking the Chinese telecom firm ZTE from purchasing American components. 
The Commerce Department had barred ZTE from doing so for seven years after it accused the firm of having deceived U.S. regulators and violated sanctions on Iran and North Korea. In July 2018, Purdue said that he opposed tariffs but that he would support Trump on his tariff increases. On January 11, 2018, Senator Purdue attended a meeting at the White House where, according to people with direct knowledge of the conversation, President Trump stated that Haiti, El Salvador, and African countries were shithole nations and that the United States should not take in immigrants from these countries. Senator Purdue stated that he did not recall these statements by the president. Purdue was criticized by veteran journalist Tom Brokaw who suggested that the senator should get a hearing aid at Costco. Then on Sunday, January 14, 2018, Senator Purdue stated on ABC's This Week that he now remembered that President Trump did not use those words just days after he said he did not recall them. Topic: <laughs> Apparent prayer for Obama's death. In June 2016, at the Faith and Freedom Coalition's Road to Majority Conference, Purdue led attendees in a prayer that seemed to be a prayer for Obama's death. He said, We should pray for Barack Obama. But I think we need to be very specific about how we pray. We should pray like Psalms 109-8 says. It says, Let his days be few, and let another have his office. Purdue did not quote the rest of Psalm chapter 90, which includes the following verses. 8. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. 9. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. 10. Let his children be continually vagabonds, and beg, let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. 11. Let the extortioner catch all that he hath, and let the strangers spoil his labor. 12. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him, neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. 13. Let his posterity be cut off, and in the generation following let their name be blotted out." Commentators at the time remarked that it was unusual if not unprecedented for a U.S. senator to publicly pray for the death of a sitting president. In a statement, Purdue's office clarified, he in no way wishes harm to our president and everyone in the room understood that, and accused the media of pushing a narrative to create controversy. Economy Purdue stated in October 2017 that the national debt was the greatest threat to the security of the United States. In December 2017, Purdue voted in favor of the Republican tax plan called the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act that was estimated to increase the national debt $1 trillion in 10 years by slashing individual and corporate tax rates. Purdue voted in favor of the 2017 budget, which was estimated to add as much as $1.5 trillion to deficits over 10 years. Purdue said he voted for the budget, because, "...the $1.5 trillion is an investment to grow the economy." He supports a constitutional balanced budget amendment and comprehensive tax reform. In September 2018, Purdue was among six Republican senators Jeff Flake, Mike Lee, Rand Paul, Ben Sass, and Pat Toomey, as well as Bernie Sanders, that voted against a $854 billion spending bill, meant to avoid a government shutdown. Said bill included funding for the Departments of Defense, Health and Human Services, Labor and Education equals equals electoral history